All right. Hello, everybody. So, um, for those who have seen the community post that I shared on Christmas, yes, I have a uh, system sensor PTW. It's also mentioned on the weekly test video. If you have seen it, I go, yes, I have an L series. But yeah, it's real. Um, so let's see what this is about. So, obviously, this comes in two colors red and white. I think white looks nice, but red's also nice too. But it doesn't matter. But I chose this color. Um, it has eight settings, which will I have to pry this open, not pry, but. I have to unscrew this bolt because this is device is um, different than the rest. Um, as I struggle to unscrew this bolt from my bed, um, okay, not too much, but not too much pressure on the bolt. <laughs> I thought that sounded bad, but. So yeah, there's your eight settings that, um, I don't know why that's on six, which is, let me see if I can turn the light on, which is on three kilohertz, and it sounds awful, it's like if you're in a smoke alarm, and I cannot stand high-pitched noises because I can hear a dog whistle, which yes, it is true. Um, but yeah, to change that, you have to get it like a little flathead, and you just change to select what tone you want. Um, I don't know why this is high on default, which causes technicians to have to, you know, unscrew this and then do that to meet the requirements in like a school hallway or in a general area that needs a horn unless you're at a gym and somebody decides oh we're not gonna put like six alarms in one gym with all of them at 110 candela anyways speaking of candela this right here is your candela switch all you have to do is just slide it and it goes up to a hundred and 85 so it tells you down here see 75 and then if you turn it you see it's a 95 and then again 110 135 and 185 which also tells you down here if somebody was to inspect that and it'd be like uh-huh uh-huh yep this meets requirement I don't know if 185 does, <laughs> unless for it's like a deed or something. So I left it at 15 because I am going to test this and it's only running off of 18 volts. But I don't want to drain the battery too quick. Um, and then here's your terminal or these metal plates that, that when you have this, um, touching it so all the the electricity will build up here and then it connects to uh, the metal plates and then it activates the device so isn't that crazy and then I didn't uh, get to this part about the mounting bracket but yeah the mounting bracket it's gray when you have the red device, but it's black when you have the white device. Which, I don't know why, but they just did it that way. And then, of course, um, it's a two-wire device, so I already have my wires set. Um, I did use a... Um, oh, what do you call them? I have one here. Just uh, turn off my light. 
I guess provides better lighting. But I have I use these that I use to connect like a like a DVD player to a TV or something like that. And so I was like, I wonder if I could use this. And sure enough, it worked. So we'll get to the testing part in a bit. So if you were to install this, I also do want to mention, you see how that screw is holding in? It's pretty nice. So when you have it face down, because you have to mess with the candela, the, the candela settings and the, uh, the tone selection, um, you don't have to worry about the screw just falling off. It has like a little plastic down here. If it'll focus. So yeah, right around in there, it just holds. Unless this doesn't have a plastic at all. I could have sworn I saw something when I had this. But yeah, and then this is what you have back here. Obviously, it's made in Mexico. Never forget, for those out there on Discord, that I did send a picture of a an, a red L-series in Mexico. It was the first time I actually saw that, seeing that. Um, so yeah, and then uh, let's mount this back together. So you have to make sure I have to use two hands actually. <laughs> so you have to make sure it's in place and then because it has those metal brackets, I forgot the name of those, you have to push onto this and then screw it in. And then we can stop screwing. Okay, there's some. Don't want to over tighten it. Ooh. Okay, that was almost a mistake. Um, so yeah, let's get ready to test this. This is the part we've all been waiting for. All right, so obviously I set it back to number two, which is the uh, the regular Code 3 normal horn. And as you can tell, it's still set to uh, 15 candela. Five candela seems ridiculous, but let's do it. And three, two, one. And that is all. I will do an all tones um, where we test out the continuous horns and the 3000K and all that stuff. But yeah, that was loud. And 15 just seemed bright, but ain't too bad for a room. So yeah, that will do it for the uh, system sensor p2wl i hope you enjoy this and this has been amazing having this as my first fire alarm device um maybe one day if i ever want to just hook it up to here and then have that go off but that will be in the near future you know you have to buy stuff and all, but you know, school, me being a senior in high school, it's really important that I focus more on getting things together. I know I still am, but time flies. So I try to make every moment count as much as I can. So yeah, that will do it. Um... And I'll do a, uh, before I do forget to mention, I will do like a mini, little mini sound off. And I'll just have this on continuous, high, and 185 candela. Just because why not? It's the New Year's. Let's have some fun. I'll see you guys next time.